Welcome back to a very much anticipated next shift video. I know you guys have been literally waiting and waiting and waiting. I'm sorry. I'm just very busy working. As you can see, the title of this video, I have bought myself a new tow rig. Some of you guys know about the Black Dodge that's on this channel and it consistently just told me. Well, it chatted on me again. It's now at the uh, shop getting the fourth transmissions put in it in like the past 80,000 miles. Literally get it back and I break it within like two weeks. It's not even that crazy, it's just 68 RE problems. Guys, I love the Ram, but whenever uh, I got this truck right here, I had to do something a little bit different. So, we have the beautiful Miss Victoria, this WS6 girl on Instagram. She's gonna be here with me, helping me film this video. I won't hold you guys up anymore. I know you're begging to see it. Here it is. Boom! She almost as hot as you. <laughs> yeah, I got another Ram. You're probably like, Sean, you just talk so much about your Ram because of transmission problems. That is correct. But this Ram hopefully will not have all those problems because it is a 3500 high output model. So a lot of you guys might know, but some of you guys probably don't know. This model in particular has a different trans than the other Dodges. This has what's called the Eisen trans. So the high output models have all the same transmissions that came in all the Dodge first responder vehicles like the fire truck, 4500s and 3500s or the ambulance. All those models, ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> she makes fun of me because she's from the North and she talks like a Yankee and- A I, what? Huh? What? <laughs> so it's just supposed to be a better transmission. All I care about, it just needs to not break. So yeah, here it is. It's freaking beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it so sick? And it is used, I did buy it's used. Got the power still so I'm there. Guys, you know I had to get the Tesla screen. <laughs> I actually got this truck for really cheap, like 68.5, which is really cheap. It's a 2020 model. All these trucks are going for like 75 to 80 with this amount of miles this year model, especially with the Eisen Trans on it. Hop up in here, girl. And this thing has a freaking jamming sound system. It's got the Harman Kardon. I don't know if that's how you say that, but sounds fancy. The seats are like the jam of this truck. It's got these suede inserts, suede all right here. That thing, a little showcase girl. <laughs> Voila. Got all the bells and whistles, literally every camera on this truck that you could possibly have on this truck. It's got the ones right here. It's got the cameras in the front. It's got everything. It's got the cargo light cameras, everything. You guys might be thinking, well, like Sean, it's not your style. It looks pretty stock. And it is stock until literally like right now. Thanks to our boys at Theron Suspension Technologies. They hooked us up with literally one of the most badass and expensive leveling kits that you can buy for a Ram. So it's only gonna raise it up like two and a half inches. But these trucks, you can actually run 37s with just a leveling kit. I know you guys see this box that I'm super excited about. We have to open that like right now. Now, I'm sure you guys can tell from the logo what this is. That's a big hose. Oh, wow. Oh, straight to the point. These are beefy, son. Holy cow. What do you young bucks call these these days? Rezzies? Got the rezzies, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Literally bigger than my time. Yeah, this is gonna be nuts. We opted to go with Thurns Stage 3. These are the King 2.5 bad boys. Literally all the bells and whistles of this kit. So we're gonna get busy unboxing this. We're gonna turn this truck into something completely different. It's gonna be so sexy when you get stuff. Oh, wow. That's a big boy. You're a big boy. <laughs> wow, these things are needy, dude. These are the, uh, actually the radius arms. Like, look right here. These arms right here that are factory in this truck, we're gonna be getting rid of those. I told you guys, I like to spend money. Why I needed these with a level kit, I did it. <laughs> I just think they look cool. This thing is freaking badass. What the hell's going on here? Breakfast. Oh, this is a sleigh box. And another box. And another box. So I ordered the billet and links because they were like not that much more expensive. These bad boys are sick and they're so light too. Really nice poly bushing on these deals. And then this sway bar is actually really, really nice too. Don't worry, I know I beat things up. Very nice sway bar, super impressed with that. Honestly, the third guys are killing it so far. So yeah guys, let's get started on this install. We're going to start with just installing every single component and uh, not videoing it whatsoever ever because 
I literally don't work. I never do that. Yeah, I just I just install the part and then you guys get to just see all the bacon. I just give you the bacon straight straight from the rip. There it is. Boom. So I know a lot of you guys may have wanted to see the install, but to be honest, it's pretty self-explanatory. You literally just drop the axle, throw in the stern coils, then throw in the king shocks. They send you these brackets right here, and they're pretty self-explanatory. You just cut a little chunk out to fit the, uh, the reservoir, put the little bracket on, install the shocks, install the springs. I actually already installed the sway bar and the billet sway bar links, which are freaking sexy, by the way. Walk around the side, the lighting's better. Those are freaking sexy compared to all this OEM jump that was on the truck. This is just like, just crap, man. Last thing that we have to do to finish up the front of this Thurn suspension install is install these beefy Thurn radius arms. So these actually dip in just a little bit to give you more tire clearance whenever you turn and go full lock on the wheel. We have to take these ugly things out. Never done this before. I actually just looked up a YouTube video and uh, we're just gonna get after it. All right guys, so fast forward to the next day. We actually got the Thurn radius arms installed on the Cummins. They look absolutely sweet. And not gonna lie, I already took it for a ride without you guys because I can't do the full reaction video for how good this truck rides until we get these bad boys put on. There's soft ride leaf springs, and you can see right here they're actually marked by Thurn. So Thurn designs these right here to make the Asla truck actually ride more like a half ton truck. We're gonna put those on. We're also gonna put some uh, long travel airbags on the back as well, so we'll still be able to tow with the truck but right now the biggest part and the most exciting part of this build is finally here you guys get to see the truck fully leveled and then we get to throw our freaking tires and wheels on i'm about to show you guys exactly what it is but look at the truck like the stance is great it's a little bit higher in the front which those leaves are going to fix that but it's pretty level kings are looking mint under there new radius arms is looking good but yeah overall the truck really does look good so, I'm about to go in here, and you guys get to see the wheel and tire package that I chose. Here it is. Light focus. Boom! 37 by 1250 truck wraps on Method simulated beadlock wheels. And these things are massive. Like, go stand by them so people can see, like, how big these units are. They're very big. Yeah. Oh, I want a comparison of, like, how big they are beside the truck. Before we raise the truck, you know? Oh yeah. Sheesh. That's gonna look so sick. Alright. Enough dicking around. Let's get these things put on. Bobo, no barking. Bobo, no bark. <laughs> That's a unit, boy. You're a unit. I know. Thanks, babe. It's not like I'm out at 37s before or anything. Boom! I'm super stoked. It's only one tire on there. Woo! Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Smooth maneuver, goober. Gang. Ready? Boom! Look at that squat we got. Look, we're just gonna leave it just like that. Kinda like this, you know? Party in the front. Yeah, if we're in. Myrtle Beach. <laughs> How about Carolina? Is that Carolina? Yeah. Oh, Carolina squat. The fact that your lug nuts just crush and stick in your socket. Gang? That is not gang. We need a hub cap. Hub cap? <laughs> Thanks, dear. Mucho better over. And that's how you it? No. <laughs> At the same time, I don't really know, but that's definitely not it. <laughs> oh my god. It would be the last one, wouldn't it? Okay, well, I guess I'll see you. Alright, let's get it.
lead. That bitch looks mean. Oh my god, babe, looks good. Come see. Like just the profile of like the method wheel with the king in the reservoir right there, it just looks so sick. It's probably gonna rub until I cut some shit, to be honest. Wow, babe. Oh my god. All right, guys, this is literally my dream build truck right now. Like, literally my dream build. I've been working my ass off lately. I know a lot of you guys are going to look at this. It's going to give you inspiration. A lot of you guys are going to look at this and you're going to hate it. Don't hate that shit. Get up in the morning, grind hard, work hard, because you can do it too. Dream big, guys. Dream big. That's all I got to say. A couple years ago, I didn't have any of these things. Like, I was eating oatmeal from McDonald's drive through with quarters trying to build Betty White and now I have this beautiful place this awesome shop that God has given to me and I'm grateful every single day but you know there's a lot more things in life that are more important than just things just stay focused on where you're going in life and I promise you good things will happen to you maybe even get to build your dream truck like this and I'm so blessed there's a lot of guys out here with trucks just like this but this is just like it means so much to me because this truck is so freaking sick this is perfect so sexy. So freaking sick. With the kings. Oh my god. The stance is like on point. It's not too much. I went with 1250s because I didn't want it to be too much, guys. Like, I take this truck up and down rock and dirt and muddy roads all the time. It's already going to sling enough crap on the side of my truck. Black truck at that. And mess the paint up. So, might as well keep it to a minimum. So that's what I did. That's why I didn't go with like some stupid offset wheel. Still looks really good. Has a nice stance to it. Now it's time to take this thing for a ride. Several days later. All right, guys. So I feel like it's been enough time that I can give you an accurate assessment on all this third suspension stuff. Truck is still doing great. We're gonna go for a little ride along, but first I wanted to show you a couple extra things that I've done since then. I added the third suspension leaf pack back there. I also did some bags up underneath there. That way, whenever we're hauling Betty in the race trailer, everything is kosher because those rear springs are so soft. But I gotta tell you, I still can't get over the way this truck looks. It sits perfectly level, in my opinion. Like, this is the perfect level truck. And the ride quality is second to none. The things that always bothered me about the truck, the way it rode, they don't bother me anymore which is a big deal because as you guys know, this is 3,500 high output truck. So it only came with rear leaf springs. They don't make them with the coil springs or at least they didn't in 2020 and the new ones are out of my budget. They're like 95K. So we're gonna go for a little ride real quick. Honestly, I wish I could take you all on a ride with me right now. I wish I could just load up every freaking subscriber, take y'all on a ride, and show you how great this thing rides because it really doesn't ride like a one ton. Like, it rides better than a half ton. This thing has done nothing but impress me since I started driving it. Everything is honestly holding up really great too. The Activate sway bar, like whenever you sway back and forth, you don't get that rocky feeling. Off-road, man, this thing shines off-road. Sometimes I'll just be going on the road and I'll I'll see, oh, pothole, and I'll swerve to hit it just to see how great the Thurin stuff soaks it up. Huge shout out to Thurin Suspension. They hooked me up on a little discount. Nothing crazy, but they're like, hey, show us some love. So here we are showing them some love because they deserve it, man. Like, I'm not one of those people that can be bought, guys. I would go and buy Thurin Suspension again for my next truck. They've got it figured out. If you rode in here with me, you'd be like, there's no way this is a one ton, Sean. This is freaking economy car is what it feels like aside from the mud tires being a little loud you know and let me say the wheel and tire combo helps out a lot too i used to be that guy like 22s and 35s would have pretty low profile tire my other dodge is like that that in itself helps out a tremendous amount just having so much more sidewall it's like so much more of a cushion there for everything to land on i think i'm gonna whip in here and get me an energy drink skirt all in all, I couldn't be happier with the performance of this thing. And if you're looking to get in a new truck, you're looking at the Rams, definitely try to source yourself out a high output Ram because they are uh, so far a lot better performing than my other one with the 68 RE transmission. This one's got the Eisen. A little slow to shift. If you don't care about that, then this is the way to go. I got a race car to shift fast, so I don't need my truck to shift fast to uh, take care of all that when we go to the racetrack. So guys, all in all, I'm very pleased with everything. I love the way the truck sits. I love the way it feels. 10 out of 10, we'll do it again. This kid